They don't have fangs or claws. But sometimes, these animals can be more lethal than predators. I'm Brady Barr. Wild and dangerous animals are my passion. Well, I've got another experiment I'd like to see if we could pull off, which might give us an idea of how much force is behind those hooves when they're pawing and jumping and... Oh yeah, what's that? I'm gonna take advantage of John's bison being trained, trained to get on top of a trailer and then also come down to try to gauge the force behind those hooves. I have a question. Why do you want us to put them on top of the trailer? We've one... got this pressure paper that'll tell us how much force that buffalo's coming down with if we can get him to step on it. Pounds per square inch. Pounds per square inch. Coffee! Well, we got three of these. So what do you think? Just like right there? Is he watching? Yeah, I'm watching. <laughs> no, I mean, is the buffalo watching what we're doing? Oh, no. Stop it. That looks pretty good. I think that'll fool him. Ready? Yeah. Got him! Woohoo! We got it. I mean, right on there. But you know, he did slip a little bit when he hit it. We finally outsmarted the buffalo. Look at that, look at that. See how it changed color? Uh -huh. You can see where he stepped on it. That's right. Look, there was one back here and two up here. All right, we got to match up the color on the paper mm. to the chart here. It's I mean, off that, the chart. It is off the chart. Off the chart. This is still pink and this here's red. So that means that where this foot came down, 7,000 pounds of force. 7,000 pounds per square inch of force for being exerted right here. You're talking over three tons of force. Do you know how I knew that? How did you know? Because you've been stepping on them before. Yeah, when I'm yeah. stepping my foot one time, I felt, oh man, that must have weighed three tons. I came away from my time in Oklahoma with a newfound appreciation for the speed, power, agility, and demeanor of these huge bovines.